So now I'd like to talk about your startup, Y Combinator, and, and how you started that. Could you tell us the story of starting Y Combinator? Yeah, it was, it was very much uh, started in the same way that a startup is started, um, where Paul and I had this idea, we, we really felt that, that the investment world was broken. Um, if you were an early stage startup and you just wanted to like test something out, you either had to go to a VC and get $5 million, which is virtually impossible at that early stage, or you had to know someone who was rich and could give you money. Um, and we thought there could be something better. We thought there could be like a standardized, branded form of funding. So if you wanted $25,000 or whatever, you could come to Y Combinator and we'd um, make it very easy for you. So uh, we thought, okay, let's start an investment company. And it was just gonna be Paul and me. And then we sort of lured in his old co-founders, Robert Morris and Trevor Blackwell, to be part of this, even though they were full-time on something else. And we said, gosh, none of us know anything about angel investing. Well, let's learn. So how should we do that? Let's fund a whole bunch of companies at once and we'll learn a lot. So we set up a website and we said, come join the Summer Founders Program. It was back in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In, it was for the summer of 2005. And we started working on it, let's just say in January. And, and we posted um, an application. Um, we wanted to change a few specific things. We wanted to make it very easy for people to, to find us and apply. They didn't have to have a connection to us. Um, we had an application of like 20 questions. Um, we wanted to make it very simple on our side. Um, we're giving you $12,000, you know, per startup or 18,000 if you had three founders, but it was very specific amount for this amount of stock. And our paperwork is gonna be real straightforward. You can see it in advance. Um, and we're gonna make the decision that day. We'll interview you and tell you that night. And that never happened back before us. No one got a same day decision for the most part. So uh, 200 people applied. Um, they had known about Paul because of his, his essays. You were one of them. I was. Came out from Stanford. I remember I that remember interview that. very well. Um, and um, we found eight companies to fund that summer. And we learned very, very quickly into the three months that funding startups in a batch was incredibly powerful. And it was powerful in that you could teach them all sort of the same things at once. Um, and they became colleagues because starting a startup as one or two people is very lonely and very isolating. And back then in 2005, there was no information online about early stage startups at all. Um, so no one knew what they were doing. So it was sort of a nice atmosphere. So even Y Combinator together. was an example of this start with an idea you don't know much about, build something people want and iterate. Yes, yes, as yes, yes. As and we started and do it small. Light and start small. Do it lightweight, start small and evolve. And we realized we had dinners on Tuesday nights, which actually we still have to this day. And we have guest speakers come in. We had paperwork that we gave them. I personally helped everyone incorporate their company. <laughs> um, what else did you spend your time on that first summer? Oh my God, what didn't I spend my time on? Like as any startup, there was like too much for everyone to do. Um, Paul spent his time advising the startups on their ideas because I didn't really know that much about startups. I was doing everything to get Y Combinator up and running. I mean, we had to get our office, we had to cook dinners. I was going grocery shopping and Paul was cooking the dinners. Um, we were recruiting speakers to speak that summer. This is now what most people picture doing when they think about starting a really important company. <laughs> so I think it's good to note that like this is in fact Oh what it's my like. God, there's so much unglamorous work that founders have to do early on and you just have to do it. Um, but I, I mean, I was delivering air conditioners to different people. Um, we, we had eight startups in that batch and they were all living scattered around the Harvard Square area and there was a heat wave. And we were like, we can't have our founders not being able to work. So I went to Home Depot and I bought like 10 air conditioners and delivered them to everyone. When, when did you know that summer that Y Combinator was going to work? Um, we had a feeling pretty early on. Like 
first couple of weeks? I would say within the first month, we were like, this is really interesting. And people are working on very interesting ideas. I mean, you were working on location stuff on your phone. This Reddit is before was in there. The Reddit was in there. We were very interested in Reddit. Um, the Justin TV and Twitch guys, Justin and Emmett, were working on a calendar. Unfortunately, Google Calendar launched and killed them. Yeah, but I mean, that year. these are these were interesting things. Um, and so we were very excited about the ideas. It's a great story about investing in people that it was Justin's third Y Combinator startup, I think, that ended up being a billion dollar exit. Yeah, 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 and YC yeah. funded him three times and it worked out on the third. And it worked out the third time's a charm, yes. I mean, this is again, going back to your funding the people, um, Justin and em Emmett were a great team. Um, I'll just, this is a bit of a tangent, but it's important to remember they were college roommates and like best friends or growing up. And so they had known each other for a long time and had this like great trust. And so when they wanted to build something, they were both excellent programmers, you know, and that's as good of a bet as you can make on a 22 year.